All right, Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says that the lack of a college football season in 2020 would cost, and, and this is what he initially said, it would cost Tuscaloosa over $2 billion. And that story went viral, right? Just absolutely insane. The problem is it wasn't entirely true. He had to come back and, and recant that today. It would cost the city of Tuscaloosa about $200 million. However, it would cost the Tuscaloosa metro area uh, an economic impact of like $2.1 billion, right? So that's everything all the way up to Birmingham, basically, if there is no college football season. How does, so, how does a, a city the size of Tuscaloosa have a metro area? The, the metro area basically extends... Uh, 100 miles around away. Tuscaloosa? Yeah, basically. I guess that's, that's what you'd call that's it. That's just the most asinine thing I've ever seen in my life. It, so the whole half the state of Alabama, you're right. <laughs> it might cost <laughs> half the state of Alabama, because that's what that is, by the way. Well, it's, it's all the way up to Birmingham and then over. So, yeah, that entire area right there, it would cost over $2 billion. That's based on hotels and restaurants and it, whatever. Right, all of that different stuff that comes in, um, and that's this is why nobody believes politicians when they say things because they say dumb shit all the time. Now, the the two billion just in Tuscaloosa was asinine. The two billion in that entire if you're region, the mayor of Tuscaloosa. Why do you care about any state or city other than yours? He he really shouldn't be. Um, but I think unless he, those other cities are giving him some cheese, I think I doubt that. I doubt that. Um, oh, I don't think you understand how politics work. I mean, maybe so. Uh, Joseph Gomez jumps in and says, oh, well, Ben said, boo-hoo, raise the taxes. Joseph said, $2 billion or $200 million, but you still don't want to pay the player something. Um, Michael said, boo-boo, join the club. They're not the only one that's going to hurt from no college football. That's what I'm trying to get to here, right? This was not supposed to be just an Alabama segment. This is the loss of college football. Doesn't just hurt. The, the colleges. It doesn't just hurt the universities. It hurts is, college towns. It hurts a ton of college towns. There's 130. No, nah, it don't Division hurt 130 one. of them, though. It, some of them are not going to hurt as bad as others. Arkadelphia, Arkansas has two colleges. Two of them, of those 130, right across the street from one another, won't get hurt a lick. Who is in Arkadelphia? Henderson and Washita. No, that's what I'm saying. There's 130 Division One. Whatever. I assure you. I assure you, half of those aren't going to be hurt. And then there's even more that are Division Three, et cetera. They're not going to have a, a, none of those are going to be hurt. No, but the Division Ones that where there's the television issues, there's the hotels, there's the restaurants, there's all that kind of mess. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Uh, the city of Memphis took a massive nosedive yes. because of the lack of Grizzlies so, games. I was just about to say. The Grizzlies, uh, uh, Memphis and May canceling. They're just so many things not happening in all of these cities. Yes, COVID co is costing lots of money and lots of jobs. Yeah. The, here's the problem. This is the first thing that's actually affecting these small college towns because they probably haven't felt much of an effect from COVID throughout this whole thing because they don't have but three or 400 people that live there when it's non college students are there. Okay. These aren't big cities. All right. And a couple thousand people. Yeah. Okay. When, when, when school is in session, their population grows by, you know, a thousand times. All right. Yeah. It, this is, yes, you're finally getting hurt by COVID. The, yes. It's going to hurt college towns. Um, if there's nothing in your town but colleges, you're going to feel the wrath because your whole economy is one thing. Yes, 100%. Uh, ben said Philly is a college town, according to Gary. It, I, I like Ben trying to jump in here and, and dive on me a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. I'll remember this. I'll remember this. Michael said teams in bigger cities won't hurt, like Austin, yeah. but small cities like College Station will definitely be hurting. Yeah, and, and you're also going to feel an economic impact in Houston. Because College Station is relatively close to Houston, like yeah, but this Houston, is, Houston's a big city. If other things are open and if their economy's going, then then they're not going to be hurt as bad. Not as bad, but it's still something that that people count on, right? Restaurants count on this kind of stuff 
hotels well, yeah, count. But everything has been closed for four months. Agreed. Uh, Damien said, this is the reason why I ask, uh, why the hell should we vote at all when all we do every year is just vote for corrupted politicians in office every time? I don't know that Walt Maddox is corrupt. I think he was just wrong. Like, he was wrong on his numbers. So, and it, it discussing all of this, like, there's an entire story over at AL.com discussing the, uh, the, the misplaced comma because it should have been closer to $200 million as opposed to $2 billion. Um, but that's just based on Tuscaloosa. Right? So, is what it is. The Alabama football program themselves uh, brought in $156 million last year based on ticket sales, concessions, uh, whatever. Now, the city of Tuscaloosa, more so because of hotels, because of restaurants, because of all the stuff that goes on around the school, right? So, uh, let's see. Ben said... Do you think the average... Median the median income in Tuscaloosa goes up when college students come to town. No, I doubt that. I, I think it does. You think the median goes up? Yeah, in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. I think I think most of those college kids have more money than most of the people. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, their net worth is not that, but like as far as the money that comes in, yeah, I think so. What they have. Ben said, San Diego, Phoenix, Minneapolis, all college towns. I yeah. swear to God. I, if if I was a student athlete, if I was good enough to be anything special where somebody would have paid for my college and I could have had room, board, full ride, everything, anybody who doesn't pick San Diego State is just a fool. They're just a fool, and I don't know how to explain anything else to you. I might agree with that. I might agree with that. My daughter that, wants to go to UCLA. That place is so. the definition of paradise. Yeah. Um, all right, so Michael said he was accidentally wrong, though, Gary. He just knew, or he knew he was wrong and still put out the statement. Now, it wasn't a statement. It was part of an interview. Um, and he actually came back. He said, the thing that's interesting, uh, Maddox said, is that people would even consider that in the realm of possibility, but its impact would be felt far and wide in our community. Uh, the fact is, Alabama has arrived if $2 billion can be mentioned, and it's not easily dismissed. I think that speaks to the power of the program itself and the success that they've had, which is just ridiculous. Like, obviously... <laughs> Play into his base. I swear. Play into I his base. I swear. Um, yeah, it's just it, the whole thing's crazy. So they're they're planning on an influx of students uh, ahead of the August nineteenth planned opening of the fall semester. Um, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. With uh, with no students on campus right now, they are losing uh, an average of two million dollars in taxes each month. So this is crazy. Michael said, "I'd love to be an Aztec. San Diego is heaven." Yeah, I think I think that's probably the best place to go to school. Uh, anywhere. So, well, my opinion. I have a I have a cousin that is at uh, Pepperdine. Um, that's not that's not shabby. That's Malibu. So Malibu is not that too is bad. Uh, not not too shabby either. That's uh, Ben heard me. He said uh, hopefully she has a four point eight GPA because UCLA admissions for out of state kids is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to talk her into going to Stanford. That doesn't seem to be working. Uh, her second choice, if not UCLA, is USC. So it is. I'm starting to figure out that she Those just wants are, to be in LA. I, I, L, LA. LA is just not a city I think I want to be in. I'm doing Diego, my best. Woo, take me about two hours south, though. And she she's going to be a sophomore, uh, sophomore, yeah. a sophomore uh, next year. So, you know, at, I've I've got about three years. I got about three years to talk her out of it. So we'll we'll figure that out. Damien said, uh, "Is this one of the colleges that got paid off by these famous rich people just to get their kids to stay in the schools?" I'm sure that that has gone on. At Alabama, but as of right now, no. There's no FBI investigation uh, into that sort of thing. But if you if you told me that that happened at every major state university in the country, uh, I would believe it, 100. percent Like I think it goes on everywhere. Uh, Michael said Malibu is too snobby. Uh, they don't change the weather, man. <laughs> I mean, it's nice out there. I like it. I like how it looks. Everything looks all right. All right, uh, you ready to move on? Last topic. 